Welcome back to another learning series with Mr. Knight. Today we're going to look at the shapes of atomic orbitals. Now to understand how these shapes are formed, we must remember that electrons move or orbit in a specific way within an atom. Electrons can move in an upward direction, also a downward direction, or even sideways. Now this unique movement of electrons will generate or create a specific shape or patterns. All right, and so if you can imagine or even map these movement, you know, capture them in, in terms of the wave spectrum, you will actually see these patterns generated. All right, and so it is a very unique thing to observe all right, and so at this point, let's go into the description of these um, orbitals and talk more about their numbers and how they are assigned. And so for the, for the specific orbital, let's look at S orbital. And so the S orbital is called sharp. The P orbital is called principal. The D orbital is called diffused, while the F orbital is called fundamental. Now we also need to know the L value that is assigned to each of these orbital. And so the values to think about for the S, we're gonna it is zero. And for the P orbital, the L value is one. And for the D orbital, the L value is two. For the F orbital, the L value is Three. So these values are very unique and very important for us to know the, the specific number of orbitals assigned to each subshell. And so now let's look at now the shape uh, of each of these orbitals. And so the S, it, is a, it has a spherical shape. For the P orbital, there is a dumbbell shape. And for the D orbital, there is a double dumbbell or a clover leaf shape. And for the F orbital, this one is complex, or otherwise you can say it has no definite shape. Now, another thing for you to remember, or at least to note, is the axes that are pos that are possible in terms of movement of electrons and there is a z-axis there's a x-axis and also a y-axis now these axes are very important for us to know where the electrons are going and in their specific direction or orientation now starting with the s orbital the s orbital the l value is zero and the ML value is also zero. Now this is indicating that there is only one single orbital. And so there's only one orbital, which is a spherical form, which is a very sharp, a very sharp shape. Now for the P orbital, the L value is one. Therefore the ML values are minus one, zero, and positive one. Now this is indicating that there are three specific orbitals. And when we talk about orbitals, we are talking about the orientation of these electrons. What direction are they going or on what specific axis can they be found on? And so the three orbitals are there. And so the specific patterns, as you notice as they pop up, and so with the possible axis that we may find these electrons on is on the x-axis, the z-axis, or on the y-axis. Now, let's look at an example um, for the first p orbital, which is the 2p orbital. Remember, there is no p orbital on the s subshell, okay? So the lowest possible p orbital you can have is the 2p. All right, just to kind of remind you about that. All right, and so now thinking about the z-axis, x, and y, 
Now, the pattern that will fall on that is that you have the possible electrons orientating on each of these. And so there is a possibility of a 2pz axis and a 2px axis and a 2py. You'll, you'll have all of these pattern forming, providing that the 2p is completely filled with all its six electrons. Now, the, for the d orbital, we have our L value, which is equal to 2. And so, therefore, our ML values will be minus 2, minus 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. Now, this is indicating that there are five specific orbitals. Now, again, the five orbitals will bring you specific shapes, pattern, and orientation. Right, and so the possibility of a xy orbital, a possibility of a xz orbital, there's a possibility of a z square, a yz, and also x square minus y square. And so these again are the specific orientation or the positions or patterns that will be formed based on how these electrons are moving along the d orbital. Now, for f orbital, the L value is 3, and so therefore our ML values are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. And so, for, therefore, there are seven specific orbitals. And so there are spe seven specific orientation based on the axis. All right. And so as they come in, we're going to describe as well where we can actually find each of these um, orbital. And so there is a possibility of, a, of the product of x and x squared minus y squared. There's a possibility of the product of y and x square minus z square that the possibility is x z square that the possibility here is the z cube and also the y z square there's a possibility of a x y z and a possibility of orientation of the product of y and 3x square minus y square all right, and so these are the unique pattern and orientation of electrons along the f orbital. Now, what we're going to do is to put all of them together now as to conclude the lesson. And so, if an atom has all of these orbitals, then you notice it increase from very simple to a very complex pattern. So, as more shells are added to an atom, then it becomes more complex. All right? And so it is shaped like this. But there's one concept I want to show you uh, before I leave you today. And you'll realize the Z axis. And the specific pattern I want to point out is that, yes, the S will be spherical, a very sharp shape. Then going to the P, you'll find that dumbbell, that dumbbell pair. And now for the D, you'll see one dumbbell pair and a single ring. And then for the F, you'll see a dumbbell pair and two rings. And so if you notice, this is a very unique way for you just to establish um, where that ML value is equal to zero. And so they form these rings, as you notice. All right. And so that's just it for today. And... Um, Definitely, I am looking forward to seeing the next lesson. And the next lesson, I'll be looking at some other things about uh, quantum numbers. In fact, I'm going to look at the principles um, of Bohr principle, Unz rule, and, and look at those principles. And I'll also be looking at the electron configuration after that. So stay tuned. Keep safe until we meet again. All right. So tune in out until that time.